Hey everyone, welcome to our channel, Learn Do Teach Hairstyles. For those who don't know us, my name is Carrie, and this is my daughter Gracie. Hi everyone! This channel is all about learning new and different hairstyles. So if this is your first time here, we would love for you to subscribe. And if you're already a subscriber, we thank you and we love you so much for your support. Today we're going to show you what we call the Echo Heart Braids. So let's get started. Okay, so what you're going to need is one of these combs, rat tail comb, and you're going to split her hair down the middle just for guidance, and you're going to go ahead and shape her hair into a heart, just like you're drawing a heart shape on her head. Anything I mention and use in this video, I'll leave a link in the description box below. So if you have to fix it a little bit, go ahead. But you do want to make sure that you have some hair right by her neck. Make sure you have some hair right there. I'm gonna put a clip right here, just so that it'll separate the middle hair right here, and it won't get in the way. I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. So you're just gonna go ahead and shape her hair into a heart. Now if you don't have one of these, you could always use it with a comb. It's just so much easier getting one of these. So this is what's gonna look like after you shape the heart. After you're done shaping the heart on her head and you like the way it looks, you go ahead and secure this part back here into a ponytail just temporarily. Now I'm gonna work over here. I'm gonna spray some water because it does work better when it's wet for me. You're gonna take a small section right here. And do a Dutch braid. And if you don't know how to do a Dutch braid, you can just click right here. You're gonna start by doing a stitch of a Dutch braid. You're gonna keep adding little sections only on the left side. So keep adding just this side. As you're adding the sections, make sure that you're on the perimeter of this outline of the heart on this side. As you're taking a small section, you're going to go diagonally. So instead of going this way, you're just going to go down this way. And then as you're coming towards the ear, you want to go this way. Up here, you went down. And then when you get to the ear, you want to go horizontal. I'm going to go braid it down a little further. Just have that added braid security. I'm just going to temporarily secure that off with an elastic band. So now you're going to do the same thing here over there. So now that you've completed both sides with a Dutch braid, you're going to take these two and secure it together. And unravel this. So now this is what it's going to look like. Now you're going to take this out and you're going to go ahead and create a ponytail. Now that you have created a ponytail, you're going to take a topsy tail. You're going to go under, right here, right in the middle, and always straight up, just like this. And you're going to bring the tail of this ponytail through this topsy tail, and then you're just going to go ahead and bring this up. Okay, so you're gonna split this ponytail into 
two equal parts. I find it a lot easier and it makes it so much more of a heart shape if you take these strands and bring it forward her face and do a braid. So I'm gonna spin her around. And I'm gonna go ahead and make a braid on both of these tails. Okay, so make sure that this braid is tight. If you tighten the braid right to the base, it'll define the heart. I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. So tightening this braid to the base will help define the heart. Okay, so I'm gonna turn her around. I'm gonna bring this back. See how much it defines that arch of that heart? So I'm going to secure this with an elastic band. Now I'm just going to adjust it. Secure bobby pins behind it. So I'm going to take this bobby pin and just secure right behind, right here by the arch. Right here. And then grab that part right here and bring it down. Again, on the, on the other side, with the ripple going down, grab this piece here, in here, grab the scalp part right against the head, and push down. Before I let these two braids go, I'm going to secure these two braids together. Now you can do whatever you like with the rest of this, but I'm just gonna go and wrap her hair around and hide the elastic band with a topsy tail. And there you have it. Thank you guys so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed this tutorial and find value in it. We love feedback, so let us know about your success in following our videos and what parts we might be able to improve on. We're always up for a good challenge, so if you know of any styles you would like us to create, please let us know in the comment section below. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up and click our logo below so you don't miss any of our upcoming tutorials. Also click on the notification bell right next to the subscribe button. If you want to watch more of us, click on over there. We love you guys. Until next time, learn it, do it, and teach it to others. Bye! Bye!